that are so-called icons of the gaming industry well no one is playing the game this is no surprise but everybody props up that Bomberman is this icon of the gaming industry very similar to Mega Man okay but Bomberman, but Bomberman's even less icon because he's not even playable in Smash Bros you know if you say that thing but he still got it as a assist trophy which we they still acknowledge that Bomberman so some important character in the gaming industry like everybody loves him according to probably every 90s kid like oh my god Bomberman's a great icon of the gaming industry like everybody's like when you think of gaming characters, you think of Mega Man and Bomberman Man because they're the icons of gaming. But nobody plays or buys Bomberman Man games, and this is proof of Bomberman Man R2. Only 96 people are in game with Super Bomberman Man 2. Of course, there's the PC port. The game is also on Switch and the Xbox and P- PlayStation as well. But I could, I can't imagine that not many people are really playing the game. The first game, like, they put it on the other consoles. And no one was buying it. The only reason the first, the first game sold so well was because for a while it was one of the few games they could buy for the Switch. And that was basically it. So another so-called icon of gaming. Okay. Has only sold 16 million copies. Okay. 27.2 billion cop- downloads over a total of 23.2 million. So Bomberman has been around since like the 80s. And very well, similar to Mega Man has miraculously just disappeared. You know. But we would get like three or four Bar Man games every year. Okay, every year. Until twenty ten and then they just stopped. They just stopped making Bar Man games and I think the world didn't miss Bar Man. Okay. Except for the nineties kids, okay, because of course they grew up with Bar Man. They grew up with Bar Man. They grew up with this character. The similar to Mega Man. So they you see they, they threw tantrums on wine. Made hundreds of videos like Where's my Mega Man? Where's my Bomber Man? And then they brought back Mega Man, they brought back Bomber Man, and no one bought them because no one cares about these characters. Okay. Yes, yeah, Super Bomber Man Owl did top two million. But they had to put it on other consoles. To put it out, and, the, and Bomberman L had generally mixed reviews. <clears throat> Yet we're told that Bomberman is this icon of the gaming industry, this icon of the gaming industry, and probably Mario, Sonic, and Pikachu, and Pac-Man. But no one buys his games. Two million copies. And they had to release this on the PS4 and Xbox One and PC as well. Okay, half of the sales came from the Switch version. Okay. But they put it on other consoles. Because obviously the game wasn't selling well enough. They wanted to get more people to buy the game. And obviously it didn't really work too well. They still made a Bomberman R2. Which means 2 million was pretty impressive. For Bomberman. But again. This is a series that they kept making 3 or 4 games. Every year. Okay. But we're told that this entire series, you know, this entire franchise, you know, is an icon. It's important to the gaming industry. This entire series is so great, okay? It's such an important game in the gaming industry, okay? You know, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, again... Another so-called icon of the gaming industry not selling all too well. And Super Bomberman 2 isn't, isn't really selling all too well either. Yeah. And also Super Bomberman Owl will not be online either. Uh, but again, for a game, for an iconic video game character, you think that people would want to play it. You think that people are like, oh my god, Bomberman is such a great character. Let's play the online Bomberman game. But no one did. Okay. Nobody did, okay, and yeah, that and yeah, that's it about this video here. So I know this will probably piss off a lot of nice kids like the Mega Man videos, but no one buys Bomberman games similar to Mega Man. Goodbye.